This is Twit. Ron, I hate to to pile on to what they said at the announcement, but Tim Cook totally told you to buy me an iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> I think you misheard the quote. Uh, and what Burke no, no, was no, referring he did. to? That, he that did, wasn't really. what, what, what I Burke heard. was ref- what Burke was referring to uh, in his attempt to steal my thunder again um, was that uh, we've been ever since Google rolled out the get the message campaign uh, a few weeks ago now to you know to try to you know publicly shame Apple into supporting RCS. We've been wondering like is Apple going to respond? How would Apple respond? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Yeah. Um, and then last week we finally got some semblance of a response um, thanks to the 2022 Code Conference uh, last week, where Tim Tim Cook was on stage and asked uh, asked by Vox Media's Lee Kuan Hunt about improving communication between iPhone and Android. And uh, Tim Cook uh, said some, if you ask me, controversial quotes in response to it. Um, first, in terms of the interoperability, whatever, working in- together. Interoperability. Working together. Yeah. Interoperability between <laughs> iPhones and Android. Tim Cook said, I don't hear our users asking that we put a lot of energy into RCS. Uh, and then he also said, I would love to convert you to an iPhone. And Lee Kwan said, um, and and gave the the scenario that we gave often, which is that I can't like I can't send my mom videos because they come out all de-res and lower res because you know I'm I'm sending from an Android or oh no she has an Android phone I'm sending from an iPhone you know gave that example and Tim Cook replied yeah buy your mom an iPhone buy your mom an iPhone. It's as um, easy as that. Uh, yeah, it's not Which, like it's expensive or anything. Yeah. Such a, oh, I hate it's that. A, I hate that reply. I hate it. It's, it's really like, is it? Is it just oh. me, or is that like classless? Right? Yeah. Like it's not, yeah. Like it's really. I, I I was disappointed because I always thought Tim Cook seemed like a level-headed, nice guy who I took over after Steve Jobs, an impossible job, and like, you know, and, and was very, you know, has kind of got an aw shucks kind of, you know, kind of feeling to him, but has fought the good fight in a lot of different areas, and you thought, you know, and, and that said, like, I, I also, you know, reality checked myself, because I am also very well-versed in the career and history of Steve Jobs, and Steve Jobs would be saying the exact same thing, if not with yeah, worse rhetoric. He so, would. like, so, so I shouldn't be surprised, but it still disappoints me that that is the response, a bullyish uh, you know, kind of uh, a, a privileged feeding into the uh, into the class war esque or or society war esque between the two phones, which is just it just was classless. I thought it was just very bad. And um, friend of the show, Hiroshi Lockheimer, agreed with me because uh, he later tweeted. Uh, and his quote on Twitter was, it's clear why Apple is opposing interoperability, interop- uh, but people should be able to send high quality videos and photos to their mom with ha- without having to buy her a new phone. Hashtag guess, get the message, which is absolutely correct. So yeah. I don't know. I, I, I don't, I know exactly why Tim Cook said that and why Apple's taking the position they're taking. I still don't respect it. So. I, and it, you know, like we got so much you know, less than happy feedback about RCS. So Google has been seeming a little bit desperate with some of their messaging, right? Like responding every chance they get, reminding like, hey, Apple, give us RCS, like every single chance they got. And all that Apple really needed to do was just to not respond, you know, to not respond right. and to let like the actual user feedback, which we got a lot of, like speak for RCS, like and, and kind of let that, you know, I mean, let the RCS boat sink or not, I mean, and now that now that he said that, I'm kind of like, damn it! Now I'm back on the RCS train just because, like, just on right. principle. Just on principle. Just, a, just on principle. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know. They didn't have to. He didn't have to say that. He's, so so interesting response in in chat. Uh, Big boy uh, is the handle. Says Google is dissing Apple for months with its campaign, and you go ape poop. With his response, and I think they're two different things. Like when I read that, yeah. I'm like, okay, I see where you're coming from, but I really do feel like it's two different things. I think Google is dissing Apple, saying, "Hey, Apple, here's a way to make things better for all users." Mm-hmm. And whether you out there listening and watching agree with that statement or not, that's what's Google saying. Google's putting the crosshairs on Apple. Apple's kind of putting the crosshairs, yes, on Google, kind of in a reaction, reactionary sort of way, 
but it's also kind of putting the crosshairs on, I, I think you said it really well, Ron, on this like privileged kind of perspective yep. of, oh, you don't want to deal with this like bad messaging situation? Well, then why don't you just pony up and buy our device then and everything will be magically solved. Not everybody is in a situation to be able to afford an Apple iPhone. Exactly. Um, exactly. And, and so it's very presumptuous. And I think that's the difference. That's what mm -hmm. really rubbed me the wrong way. I totally get that Tim uh, doesn't want to support RCS for any number of, of reasons. But like you, Ron, I've always kind of seen Tim on a class, like a, a different class level compared to others, you know, running big tech, like Elon Musk is, is the one example that really comes to mind. I don't see Tim Cook and Elon Musk in the same category, and I still don't. But this comment really gave me the, okay, you're really out of touch kind of vibes. And I yeah. didn't like that about it. Yeah. Not good. Yeah. Not good, Tim Cook. So. I gotta give you a thumbs down here. So. Yeah. 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 I, I, I understand why he wouldn't want to support it and why Apple doesn't want to support it. I get it. It's all business and everything. But I felt like that comment just was very, um, was classless. So yep. that's why it rubbed me the wrong way. So anywho, so the, yes, so there was the, uh, that was at the code conference that happened after the Apple event. We don't really talk a whole lot about Apple events on this show because it's all about Android, but every once in a while it comes up because things happen that kind of cross those lines, you know, the, yep. the, the I, lines cross. And I will I, echo, yeah? I, I'm sorry not to interrupt you, James, but I will echo this in terms of like an update on the phones of my family. Um, I, I have told my sister to get the Pixel 6. She is figuring that out with Verizon. She might go to the Verizon store and get it there. But instead of the 6A, we went Pixel 6. Uh, but I did just purchase an iPhone uh, iPhone thir uh, 13 mini for my wife because she's on iOS. So mm -hmm. there you go. Mm -hmm. So I can, cross the, I can cross the aisle every once in a while. Yeah.